For most people, as you get older, your hearing gets worse. And that same issue could contribute to memory issues and even Alzheimer's. As Nate Salazar found out, researchers say there's a strong link between using hearing aids and lowering your risk of dementia. I understand, you know, the importance of the hearing aids and yeah, it's definitely beneficial. For Mark Mercica, checking his elderly client's hearing aids has become commonplace. Every day we'd go in, make sure the batteries were working, making sure that the hearing aids were put in correctly and were operating. According to a new study of nearly a thousand people, that attention to detail may have big impacts on their health. Data suggests hearing aids may slow the decline of cognitive diseases like Alzheimer's. Participants of the study who were provided with regular hearing care saw improvement. These individuals at actually over three years uh, cut their risk by almost 50 percent. Wearing hearing aids and frequent auditory checkups helped dramatically. Researchers cite hearing loss as the third most common chronic health condition in older adults, which can lead to communication issues. And that may contribute also to depression, anxiety, and other factors that are related to social isolation and also put them at higher risk of developing dementia. The study shows a brain that is engaged and listening helps people remain more socially and physically active. The inability to communicate again leads to anger and frustration and you know those are the things that just make the dementia and Alzheimer's progress. Experts say hearing assistance can even help individuals who already have symptoms and may help reduce the progression of the disease. Here for you in Lansing, Nate Salazar, 6 News. Thank you, Nate. And this comes as Alzheimer's disease experts are revamping the way doctors diagnose patients with this memory robbing disorder. In fact, under the proposed guidelines, a rating scale will assess disease progression similar to the different stages used in cancer diagnosis. The guidelines also eliminate the use of terms like mild, moderate, and severe. We'll stay tuned. David's back right